Good morning. So, I had a loner last week, a nice uh, standard 85, and I was amazed by how easy the uh, charge plug plugs into the car. Slid in very easy, and I'm like, wow, mine hasn't been like that for a while. So I was thinking, why not take a little look and uh, see if our charge port was dirty. And lo and behold, it was. So I thought, why not make a little video on cleaning your charge port? Now, for starters, I'm not going to use any chemicals. Uh, just uh, some nice clean cotton swabs. First thing you want to do is get a can of that compressed air, if you, or if you have an air compressor, set it at a very, very low PSI, and just blow out any dust and debris that might be inside your charge port. Remember, do it very, very gently. You don't want to damage anything. Yeah. Problem being is, no matter how hard you try, over time, debris, dirt, dust, other miscellaneous crud will get inside your charge port. It's just the nature of things. Cars outside, even in your garage, car cars out and this port's open. And um, over time, it will get a little stiff getting your uh, charge plug in there. So we're gonna start. Take one cotton swab and you're just going to gently clean out the inside of your charge wand close that, that was getting annoying switch over to the other side and don't force it in there, just gently gently go around the charging contacts Like I say, definitely do not force it or you can break the contacts in there. But just look how dirty that got. And this side was used only to clean the contacts. So if the contact was that dirty, if you're having a problem with current reduction, uh, it's possible you just got some dirty contacts on there. Um, at this time, I don't, I haven't found anything that I'd recommend, any chemical I'd recommend using. So I'd say just stick with a nice dry cotton swab, which seems to be working very well. Oh, nice and shiny now. I think maybe my current reduction problems might be a little better at this point. Switch the other side. There you go. Is that filthy? Wow. So, wand is done. That's simple. Now, I've already blown this out with air, so it's, uh, that's as much dust is going to come out right now as, it, as it's going to. Just a little bit. Sorry about that. And just gently go around the inside of your charge port with the cotton swab. That's just the bottom. It's pretty, pretty dirty. Oh, wow. Must have loosened some crap up. Huh. Little plugs in there are a little loose. That thing is filthy. Blow it out. Tons more dust just came out. And uh, this is after about just a little over a year of ownership. I've never cleaned this out before. Since I have what I call an outdoor car, it never gets to go in a garage, um, I have had salt slush in here before and I just kind of let it dry and blow out the best I can because I do park out outside just remember gently do not damage anything I 
checked out. <laughs> Charge port damage would be covered under warranty. Oh, and the uh, locking me mechanism just decided to come up because I took a little too long. There we go. Wow, I actually slid in quite a bit better. Very satisfied. So, a little love and care, your test will go the my extra mile. And I suppose as long as we're on the subject, how about cleaning the contacts? For your plug. Now most of you will be using a uh, 1450. However, the same rule applies. The same rule applies for pretty much any of the plugs. I'll use my uh, 120 volt one as an example as it did not fare so well in emergency charging one day. See how dirty it got? Now over time you will get some corrosion, dirt, and crap on the contacts. So what you do is just take a tiny very fine grit piece of sandpaper and you just want to clean it off. And doing this will allow less resistance, so it should have less plug heating. <sighs> Look at that, see how shiny that is? Compared to that. Just be very gentle. You could even use a uh, nail file, uh, the, the sand ones, not the metal ones. So you women out there driving the Teslas, it would be a little easier because you can. it's on a stick so you can use a stick. This is just sandpaper I had convenient that was fine grit. Don't use a coarse grit or you'll be starting to take off too much metal. If you take off too much I mean, these are a wearable item. Eventually, you will have to replace you will have to replace uh, your contact, uh, your your adapters. It's just that's just the nature of things. It's going to happen, but at least you can extend their life a little bit like this. There we go, nice and clean. Should have less resistance when plugging in now, which means less heating up at the at the plug end, less voltage drop means faster charging. Here is my old 1450. Uh, you can see I sanded that one off just mildly as well. Um, I actually this is the old one. Um, I'm keeping this one as a spare because I actually have, I carry a complete second UMC with me just due to the 
uh, nature. I think I've gone through eight so far, just due to the nature of their failures in my mileage I put on. I am there's no way I am going to be stuck in the middle of nowhere and have to tow my car because of UMC failure. Especially where I, I go, a lot of times there are no public charging stations that I could could charge up on. No superchargers, no J1772s. So at first I was having some very nasty plug heating. And uh, I leave the, I, I leave my UMCs connected all the time. It's plugged into it's plugged into my garage wall, and I just leave it I leave it there when I'm in town because I have my spare in case I have a, to do emergency charging. But when I go on long drives, then I unplug it. So um, you know, really never paid attention to it. Uh, so the plug was heating up, getting a little uncomfortably hot. Cleaned up the contacts. Um, Actually, after I sanded the contacts down, you can use a, a cotton swab or a paper towel or a regular towel with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on just to wipe it off. And uh, it's a finishing touch. Worked extremely well. Now, if you're someone that uses a J1772 quite often, uh, it's not as much to do that you can clean wise with this however uh, with this adapter but you can still do the rotary clean like I did on my UMC and then just gently go around the contacts make sure there's nothing no debris stuck in there very gently once again now what was I going to say there shouldn't be as much trouble with this adapter. Most people aren't using these on a regular basis there. And that concludes keeping everything nice, clean, and working properly.